friends, this is Miss Ataco, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the fonts and text in a Google Slides. We're going to use this to create our end of year project next week, so make sure you're really listening so that your project looks spectacular. So what is a font? A font is just how the words look. The words are the text. So font is how the words look and text is the words themselves. So when I want to change the font or the text, the first thing that I need to do is highlight it. When I go to highlight my text, I have to have a certain kind of arrow. So right now, my arrow kind of looks like, a, like an arrow. Sometimes it has the four arrows. And when I want to highlight, it needs to look like a capital I. When I see that capital I, I can click and then drag all the way so all of my font is highlighted. Now, where did I start when I dragged? When I dragged that time, I started at the end. I could also start at the beginning, but never ever start in the middle. Because if you start in the middle, only some of your words are going to get highlighted. So I want to change the font or how the words look on my first page, on my title page. I'm going to highlight, and then I can go up here to, to see my options. I can change the font. I can change the size. You can either click here to make it smaller, click here to make it bigger, or select from the options. I can make it bold, italics, which is kind of sideways, underlined, or I can change the color of my font. First, I'm going to change how it looks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna make it happy monkey because I really like how that looks. Now, when I click that font, I notice that my words are huge. They do not fit in the box anymore. That means I need to change the size. I can either change the size by pressing this little minus sign, or if I think it's gonna to take too long, I might just go ahead and select one of the options, like right there. If I wanted to make my font bold, really dark I could, I could make it sideways or italics, I can underline it, and I can change the color. For yours, you will need to change the type of font, and you will need to change the color. You guys know that Miss Taco's favorite color is purple, so I think I'm gonna select a purple for mine. Ooh, that shows up really nice. Now let's say that your favorite color is green and you decided to select a green. Uh-oh, that's, that's kinda hard to read. So make sure that whenever you select your colors, you make it a color that's really easy to read. Different colors look different on different backgrounds. Now I've changed my font and I've changed the color. Next, I need to type my name. Let's see, Miss Ataco. Wait, I don't really like how that looks because these words are still here. So I need to make sure that I highlight those words and hit backspace so that all you see is my name. I want to make my name a little bit bigger and I wanna change it to the same font as my title. To make it the same font as my title, I click this button right here and underneath recent, it shows me all the fonts I've just used. I used Happy Monkey for my title, so I'm gonna use the same one for my name. Then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You wanna make sure that you don't put too many different fonts on a page, cause then it just looks kinda of crazy. Now that I've changed my title page, I can do the rest of my pages. On each one of your slides, you will, you will see some words and you'll see a picture. Your job is to change the font of these words to something that makes you think of the words. So this says Sweet Lion. So I'm gonna highlight, uh-oh, I started in the middle. That's not good. Let me start at the beginning. I'm going to highlight, and then I'm going to look at my different font options. I can kind of see what the font's gonna look like just as it's written. I 
about something that makes me think of a sweet lion? Ooh, that makes me think of a sweet lion. If I wanted it a little bit bigger, I could make it bigger. And now I'm going to change the color. Now you notice when I clicked here that some of the font options disappeared. That's okay, if that happens, all you have to do is click back on the font and highlight it. I think I want to make my sweet lion font pink because pink always kind of makes me think of sweet things. Boom, I've changed my font. I need to do the same for loud lion. I highlight starting at the beginning or at the end. I find a font I like, I kind of like this one because it looks like he's yelling. And since it's a loud lion, I think I'm gonna make my font even bigger. Uh-oh, that's too big because it went out of the box. So let me just make it one, one size smaller and I'm gonna change my text. Hmm, when I think someone's yelling, it kind of makes me think of a red. Now I've got my loud lion. You will do the same for all the slides. You have happy crab, silly snake, hired cat, calm cow, colorful fish, tall giraffe, hanging monkey. Let's review. Your, what you need to do today is to watch the directions video first. So if you've just watched this video, you've already done your first step. Then you change the font on the title page and change and type your name. The title page was the very first page. For the rest of the slides, change the font to something that reminds you of the words on the slide. Then change the color of the font. Very important, each slide should have a different font and a different color. So on my first slide, I used lobster, which means I can't use it on any other slide. I have to pick a different font and a different color. So since I used pink on my first slide, I can't use it on any of the other slides. Challenge, if you get done changing all of your fonts and all of the colors to something different, I want you to try to make some of your fonts bold by clicking the B, I italic by clicking the I or underlined by clicking the U. I'm really looking forward to seeing how creative you guys are.